It's me again, Ja. <laughs> yeah, this is Damien Crawford. I mean, I look at singing moon, you know. But I'm um, just making this video for kind of explain the disingenuous and untruthful statement made by Adi Shah um, and the narrative being sold by the JLP that teachers should actually um, be grateful and that they are greedy and um, they should take what they get over the period of time because it's clear to divide and rule seem to be the only plan so I'm going to explain to you why it is that um, what they are saying is incorrect and why teachers are in fact not unreasonable in asking for an increase in salary equally police are not unreasonable equally firemen are not unreasonable equally nurses equally correctional officers um, government workers in general so we are going to um, go through it yeah so to explain it um, efficiently we have to start by saying um, what is a price what is price because you see you have to understand like wage is a price wage is a price of labor rent is a price rent is a price of using an asset um, so, um regular price is a price of consuming a product so prices come with different names as it relates to what's the price so when a man say wage is really what's the price of my labor see so when a man say my collect wages is the price of his labor if you understand that we can move on so i'm going to look on price now before they had money seen them used to use like a barter system which means say uh, you exchange goods for goods so for example a man would say yo i have a goat and the value of a goat is a half a cow see so if the value of a goat is a half a cow then the man with the goat could find a man with a cow and the man comes a boom and exchange him goat for a half a cow see so the man now who have the half a cow he may really want half a cow him comes on now therefore and say me quarter cows and take quarter of the cow and him now go look a sale for the other quarter of the cow so him go to a man now where a pig and say yo quarter cow equal half a pig and so him comes a boom now exchange with the man where the pig and say yo quarter cow equal half a pig so him get half a pig but he no really need half a pig so him comes and say yo me need some rice so him say all right um quarter pig i got equal to two pound of rice so I'm gonna look for your man with rice and him do that if you don't understand. So the man will get two pound of rice, then say I need two pound of rice. So him take one pound of rice and him go look some vegetable and say one pound of rice equal to three tomato and him get three tomato. So basically it was an inefficient way for people trade anything at all because you'd have to find a man who have the other thing we want to sell. So a man come and say, yeah, why we not give them a piece of paper? Why not give them something that reflect the value of a half a cow? So when the man come with him goat, him say, yo, this is equal to half a cow. Ten dollar is equal to half a cow. So therefore, when him come and say, me have a goat, him want ten dollar because ten dollar is equal to half a cow. See? And then him can go use that and buy him quarter um, pig, him quarter, him two pound rice, him can go buy anything else when want with the ten dollar. At the point where half a cow equal to fifteen dollar, he might say, yo, we need fifteen dollar. Cause remember say him goat is equal to half a cow. See? So that's what the wage is now. A wage is a representation of what you can purchase. See? So you say yo pay me ten dollar so that me can purchase my half a cow. My forty days um, 40 hour work week is equal to a half a cow. So I'm going to carry it now to the reality now, right? So a teacher or a police or a nurse might say, I am going to sell you my labor. See, my effort and the price of my effort is going to be equivalent to renting a port more plus um, tin mackerel on a Monday plus chicken on a Wednesday plus soup on a Saturday plus oxtail on a Sunday um, plus two change of clothes plus a 91 swift with gas so therefore him want to be able to afford that that's the life where him want to live see so therefore if that life come together is for 30 dollar then him said pay me 30 dollar if that life is for 50 dollar then him said pay me 50 dollar all right so now that we understand that then now we have a look on where the teachers are now see so we have to use 2015 as the base year which means say yo this are the year zero 2015 is the last time them get a, a wage so they might negotiate based on what them have at 2015 see so therefore 2015 them get a wage increase so that is year zero that is point zero see so at point zero now the teacher them say yo all right you had the year 2016 and you had the year 2017 what has been the impact 
on what I can purchase. That's what you really call inflation. Inflation is saying what is the impact on what you use to purchase. It's a general change in prices. So the man at 2015 used to get half a cow. That's the teacher, I'm get half a cow. See? So that is year zero. Inflation for 20. 15 16 the year 2015 was 3% so if him at year 0 him now at a half a cow minus 3% so him at negative 3 him was at 0 and now him at negative 3 see and then now um 2017 was at um 4% see so therefore him at negative 7 See, because it was at negative 3 and then him lose 4 more, so him at negative 7. So therefore, at the point of negotiating with the government today, he is at minus 7. See, so he needs to get back at least 7 in one year, see, to reach back to the year 0. So when they come on and say, oh, over 4 years, nobody not negotiate like that, see. We say each year within the 4 years, how you are going to give me because 16% over four years don't mean nothing to nobody. What is the year upon year increase? See, because inflation over four years can be 50%. You understand? So, if inflation is 10% a year, then you have to say inflation, inflation over four years is 40%. So, you can't look on over, over four years. So, each year, see, so the man saying they minus seven. So, for year one now, which is the negotiating year, you need to get seven percent to come back to zero. See, the government say, yo, no, we are offer you five. See, so the man say, no, you can't offer me five because right now, me I get quarter cow for my goat. I mean, me need to get half a cow for my goat. See, so that's what me always used to get. So, this is unfair now that you are giving a quarter cow for my goat. So, therefore, me need to reach back to point zero, which is seven percent. So, the government offer them five. See, so therefore, the teacher now or the police or the nurse is at minus two. See, now inflation is predicted to be five percent. The next year, see, so that means say yo, um, if him stay as is, him will get the next minus five. So we're gonna use that now as the projection for the other three years because a projection they're using, you know, they must say over four years. So we have to say what is the likely inflation to be over these four years. So we come so now, boom, him at minus two in year one, see, then inflation for that year is going to be five percent. So you have a minus five, see, so it's going back a minus seven, see. You give him 2% increase in the second year, which make him now come to minus 5 because you add back 2 to him. So, he's still there minus 5, see? But then the next year, which is going to be minus 5 again, see? He might come and say, yo, wow, minus 5 again, but they are minus 10. But you only give him 4%. So, now him there minus 6, see? Then the final year of the fourth year now, you come to and say, yo, may I give you 4%. Inflation is minus 5 again, so in the minus 11, and you give 4, so therefore in the minus 7. So the man will say, yo, no, I don't want that, I cannot live in the minus. Me want a salary that will carry me at least equal to where I was in 2015. I don't see nothing wrong with that. So when um Ardy Shark come now and say, yo, no, they might get 16% over 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 the next four years. Inflation is projected to be 20% over the next four years. So therefore, a man I got be four percent worse off than he is today. Now who are gonna accept that to be worse off for the same or more work than he is today? So when the government now go say yo, basically tax of figure is if if um if 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 the teachers get pay that not have nothing to do with the teachers you understand because at the end of the day you as a jlp party say yo i think say um no tax is a good campaign strategy see so you say yo, no taxes no new taxes that's a good campaign strategy the teacher them never sign up to subsidize the jlp campaign so if it is that you taking a your mindset, the money where you have, you want to spend it X way, and you're not going to raise no more money because it makes you can win the next election, or it makes you more likely if you can win the next election. You can't take that out of teacher pay, because the teacher not a fund of the Jamaica Labour Party. Political viability should be funded by volunteers, not by forcing public sector workers to, to, to do as you instruct. So basically, I mean, we have to be careful because we see this divide and rule system. I want to remember the poem I said, when they came for the Jews, I said nothing because I wasn't a Jew. 
and then them came for the other people and the blacks and I said nothing because I wasn't black and then they came for the whites and I never said nothing because I wasn't white and then they came for me and there was nobody to say anything. So we now look on just who it didn't affect me or it affect me or whatever. It, what is right and what is wrong? Nobody who sell a goat for half a cow in 2015 is going to sell this goat for um, quarter cow in 2020. So therefore, at the end of the day, the teacher them a defense say, yo, we want at least to be equal and what you're offering isn't equal. There has never been an accumulated calculation that in, that increases 16% over four years. Not in Augusta. See, it's each year, year upon year, what are my increases and what are my inflation realities. And the teachers currently are dealing with a higher inflation than them suggested increase. And that is not fair. So I, Damon Crawford, stand with the teachers. Yeah.